Oh, Jan's trash talk moment. Jan, Jan, you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> that was just so like, I was like, bloop. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Mira Mangle. And it's Scarlet Cyanide. And welcome to another Mangled morning. Woo. Uh, now, of course, we know that the UK promos came out for season three and we're mm -hmm. very excited about it. But we have so much to talk about today because we have to talk about All Star 6 today. So tomorrow we will get right to the UK season three promos and get deep dive into all that. We're going to talk about not only All Star 6, we're going to talk about Drag Race Philippines being announced and a little bit of drama around that. We're going to be talking about our brand new series called Heated Angel of the Week. <laughs> also, Drag Race Holland happened this week, so we're going to get into that runway as well. Mm -hmm. But before we get started, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube. Plus, you're helping support the channel. Now, you can also support the channel by tipping on Venmo like these fine folks did. Big shout out to Rebecca W. who said that we helped her through quarantine. A Zach D. who congratulated us on hitting 10 million views. Our buddy Mike G. Kiara D. Amy K. Our good gal Cynthia E. who always comes through and was tipping me for my ginger wig last week. The big one that I restyled. I, I couldn't let it go for the Shake Away Fantasy. <laughs> yes. Mikhail S. And uh, Tracy M. who also gave a comment you know we had this a few weeks in a row where he was like so i was also one of those people who joined the patreon and was stunned by the amount of content people Ooh. just are like i'm tanya we have just as much on there as we do on the main we channel really do, yeah if not more check out this amazing art we got mateo in that top one that's really cool mm, i think gorgeous. he said something like houndstooth is really hard so you have stripes but it's still stunning yeah i love it and then that bottom one there is by megan very cute. very cute yeah good old-fashioned hand drawing i love that come through now a couple weeks back i wore that i guess you'd call like a rose and thorn look. Oh yeah. Someone in the comments on Instagram called it uh, Shania Twain meets Poison Ivy. And I was like, that's actually <laughs> really fierce and I love that. That's cute. But the designer was Ray Ortiz and oh. he's got three different Mangle Morning shirts he's rocking. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Well, I guess one Mangle Morning shirt and the other two are just so me. Oh, cute. But Scarlett, where could you get those shirts? You can get those at miramangle.redbubble.com. All right, send me your photos and you'll be featured in a video. We have to talk about Drag Race Philippines. So a few weeks back, we talked about how Manila Luzon was doing a show called Dragged In with Manila Luzon in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And yeah, RuPaul just randomly announced this past week that they're going to be doing Drag Race Philippines, which yes. is super exciting because we, we've talked about before how it's one of those countries that really should have one. And it's very exciting. It's crazy that it's happening like just moments after Manila announced hers. But hey, I mean, more the mirror, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, no, it is super exciting, though. And I mean, you've been to the Philippines. You've gotten to see some other drag first hands. Uh -huh. It was, we were very impressed. Epic, amazing. Yeah. yeah, it was great. I mean, yeah, I was there for a few months and watched a lot of drag shows and they were really fierce Ooh, in the Philippines. I'm excited. A lot of people were wondering like what Manila's thoughts were and people were immediately uh, making memes. The, the my plans, which is the drag den <laughs> and then the Delta variant is RuPaul announcing Philippine, you know, oh God, Philippines. yeah. But uh, Manila at first handled it very well. And she said, this is major, which yeah, that is fierce. So I have not to not have any and then to go to two. So that was her initial response. But then this next response is a little bit shadier. She said, uh, audition for the drag den. Our auditions don't <laughs> legally lock you into a five year contract, even if you don't get cast. So which I did not know that was a thing. That's mm -hmm. intense. That is intense, all right. That must be a new feature to the contract, if oh. that's true. All right. So that's a little bit of a shadier response. Actually, more of what I would, yeah. would uh, expect from Manila. Yeah, honestly. Um, hey, well, the more you know. There you go, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would imagine that the majority of the folks are gonna wanna try to be on Drag Race, right? Like, that's just common. That's gonna be your first thing that I would assume most queens would go yeah, for. It's like, you know, if you have like Coca-Cola and then like, regular you know just a cola right you know it's like, like dr pepper and dr slice like you're gonna go for the dr right. pepper yeah i mean so of course drag race i guess is technically right like the brand name yeah show or whatever whatever that even means i'm sure that there's gonna be amazing wonderful contestants on both shows yeah i hope they're both successful yeah. and it is crazy though to think about that like you would assume at some point they would if they're gonna do it you would think that they would reach out to someone like Manila. Yeah, I, I'm really, I'm surprised that this happened and that there wasn't some sort of like 
conversation conversation yeah. it's just it's kind of weird but i mean obviously um i mean manila announced her show first mm -hmm. and i am so happy for manila i i did just make the the coca-cola and whatever reference yeah. but that's no shade against manila like i think that manila is an amazing queen i think she's funny she's one of those queens that i've always thought could do like a rupaul a like yeah. Yeah, could do the rupaul gig um absolutely so i'm, I'm sure her show is going to be amazing yeah yeah and i was i i did see a couple of facebook posts that people were sending me that jiggly posted something about like does anyone know a good place like a good home or apartment to rent for the for like a five month stay in the Ooh. philippines so a lot of people are speculating that maybe jiggly is going to actually be a part of the drag race philippines or she i mean also she could just be like a judge on manila's show too yeah absolutely i mean i guess she could be involved in either one but it would it would be shocking that she would post that publicly yeah you don't have apartments.com gal <laughs> right the amount of franchises we have just in the drag race name brand not including all the other stuff you know yeah. nine different countries that drag race is now in and then we have three different versions of all-stars that are going to be happening so yeah i mean wow. it's a lot it's a, it's amazing it's a lot it's you know what's crazy too is so when we first started this channel there was at that time there was only us uk and all-stars yeah so when we first started this a year and a half ago there was only three that's insane and so now, we, I guess we couldn't have picked a better time to, to be doing this because it's, it's it's full time. Right. It never ends. Wow. I mean, it's exciting. We still haven't had like an official word if Down Under's coming back. And then the other thing, we talked about this last week, is like, we still haven't heard about Canada. Like, we know they filmed Canada season two. Right. We know they filmed it. We've gotten some info. But yeah, like, when's that? When are they going to bring that back Should to be us? Should be happening soon. Yeah. The other big show that was announced, well, we knew, of course, season four for Dragula was happening, but they announced an official date, October 19th. I love it. It's around the time we thought it would happen. Absolutely. Halloween. Yeah. I always, at the end of October... That's regular season, baby. Right. They also announced some of the guest judges, which which most of them are amazing. Mm -hmm. The one that I was questioning was Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, Vanessa Hudgens. And for multiple reasons. Like for multiple reasons. First of all, she's kind of more infamous for her her quotes on Drag Race when she guest hosted. Mm, so into voguing right no, now. So, oh God. Yeah. We we saw what she did there. <laughs> I mean, that was that was All Stars three, so it's been a lot of years. Yeah. Hopefully, she's watched herself on the show or something. But I thought Sometimes. Vanessa Hudgens got canceled last year in the in the beginning of lockdown in 2020. She was like, people are gonna die, and like oh, you're yeah. not like shutting down businesses. Da 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 da. And she's like, it'll happen. Ooh. Like she was like very anti all That's of. Right all of the shutdowns for the initial run and all of that so i thought she got canceled back then so i'm shocked to just see her just for that reason yeah honestly it, and it, yeah that's a and name what, where like, it's like why has she ever done anything like has she even been in a scary movie i don't think so because if, if she was i feel like they would put that as the credit to list next to her name i mean unless they're gonna very clearly do some sort of like spoof of high school musical Right. Like a lot of these other people, like Bob and Orville Peck, like they're not involved with anything horror, but they're at least queer. Uh, yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. But yeah, like we talked about before too, $100,000. That's a big, big upgrade for them. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting into our brand new segment called the Heated Angel of the Week. <laughs> now <Yes>. last <laughs> week, last week we did have to film early. Uh, because of other obligations in our lives. And so we missed some of the Cameron stuff that happened. Like, I think it was actually that Sunday. Yeah, I think it happened all same day. So Cameron Michaels is, is the heated angel of the week. She made a lengthy post and some videos on Instagram on how upset she was with her experience uh, on Drag Race uh -huh. uh, as the lip sync assassin. Yeah. And it was, it, she even says like, I, I know I'm being over the top and dramatic, but like, I'm mad. Basically, she's mad. She felt like they embarrassed her with this song choice. Like, oh. they felt like they were out to get her and, and made her look dumb, which I don't think that's the case at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. And I I feel like the world just agreed like it was the song choice. Yeah, everybody was like, you brought Cameron Michaels back to do Boom Clap. It was not like, oh, Cameron, you right. did poorly. It was more like, well, that's an unfortunate song choice for everyone. Right, and we even talked about how last week, how there was those memes, how they did the same thing to Kennedy. Oh, yeah. Last year, oh. and Kennedy wasn't pressed about it. She was like, yeah, just didn't <laughs> didn't like the song, didn't know the words. I'm hurt, disgusted, devastated by the entire situation. Ooh. Call me dramatic, but I don't give a S. All right. She's uh, telling us how she feels for sure. It, it almost sounded like at first that maybe she was supposed to be on this season, like this current All-Star season. Mm. It was like her post was kind of a little bit like, 
vague, I guess, than that. Because she's talking about, like, every girl looks forward to coming back and having their moment to shine. Mm. I felt cheated. I think she's just saying, because, like, especially that first half of the season, you know, Coco yeah. and Brooklyn and Lagan. Yeah, it got amazing. Jessica had these yeah. epic, great moments. Mm -hmm. And a big part of that, too, was their catch. Like, Cameron doesn't have catchphrases either, so she wasn't able right. to do any of that. Right. But, yeah, she feels like she was cheated, and she felt like she was used for a storyline to get rid of her friend and all Which, of that. Which, also, I mean, they don't know when, what order the girls are going home. And we've heard from right. a lot of the assassins that they know, like, weeks and weeks in advance. Right. But. Like, it was claimed that that was the case for Jessica and Yara, but yeah. Jessica was like, no, that was the date I had on my calendar right. regardless. Like, I was already supposed to be there that day. I get it. Like, this is what she does for a living, but, like, I've not seen a single post. I've not seen a single soul be like, Cameron messed that up. <laughs> no, I mean, and she won. She like, won the lipstick. She won the lipstick, very clearly. And she did everything she could with the song. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It was a, it, it's a mid-tempo song at best. Right. Like, that that's doesn't, it. That doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't build. It doesn't build. It's just the boom clap, that's the build. And that's the end of the day. And, like, what does boom clap, what's that even mean? But I do enjoy, like, it, it, here she does say, you know, call me dramatic, but when she does, like, a, she did, like, a live video about it, and she was like, I know I'm being over the top. <laughs> I know I'm doing too much, but I can't help it. All right. That's drag queens, baby. Yes. That's real. Absolutely. So I actually really enjoyed it, and it's one of those few moments where I felt like, I got to see Cameron, you <laughs> yeah. know, like, like, and not being in a shady way. Drag queens are like that. Yeah. And a lot of times it, she's more self-produced. I love that she just went kind of raw and was like, look, this is how I feel. I know I'm crazy, <laughs> but we guys drag queens are nuts. Like we that. wouldn't be up looking like this if we weren't crazy. Right. There we go. All right. Now let's get to All Star 6. And we have to just, first of all, just talk about Silky Nutmeg and Nash's run as a whole. Oh, and then we're going to get into each individual lip sync. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> Yes. This woman slayed it. This is one of the, if not the biggest redemption of all time, one of the biggest of all time. We've already had multiple massive redemptions on the season, and here goes another one. Yes. That's just next level. She won, what, six lip syncs in a row? She sure did. Incredible. Yeah. And then we still don't know the results of the of final, the final one. one. Correct. But right now, she's tied with Simone for most lip sync wins at seven. So if she wow. if she ends up winning against Eureka, mm. she will be the most. I mean, she already is the most, right? Because she's tied. But yeah. like that most wins of all time wow. in one little episode. Wow. I mean, if she did incredible, like she brought it. She was prepared. She was like, I'm going to show you that Silky means business. And, and she did. And she, what a great range yeah. of like, it wasn't like the same shtick over and over again she Honestly. did so she brought something new each time she sure did i mean silky kept it fun she was having a good time like she was joking around acting foolish like everybody was just having fun yeah and here's the thing is like what made that episode even better is not only the stuff she was doing during the lip stink mm. lip stink <laughs> lip lip sync but also just the way she would do the curtain reveal different each time yeah her little confessionals her little back and forth with the girls every single time it was different it was new and it was hilarious it was so so good it felt like the fastest episode in in history i know like it was it went by so fast i know when it ended we were like oh it's done like oh they're already showing already? us the preview for next week also just the way they formatted it was hilarious like I a loved, little video game sports thing love the video game slash yeah slash sport thing with the way carson did it because carson was hilarious too yeah now a lot of the dolls were living as they were watching it but mm -hmm. most of the time which we'll get into of course positive times as well but uh, TKB was definitely in her feelings a little bit she posted this little meme on Instagram when you're on a break and you're contemplating whether you need this job <laughs> and her little face <laughs> watching the lip syncs yeah. or not watching right yeah she and she posted a little bit on social media about this and she was just like look when it started I was mad because we started that day at 6 in the morning yeah they started playing this video at 11 o'clock at night. I'm mm. exhausted and now I gotta sit here and watch all this stuff and they're telling me somebody's coming back. Right. <laughs> like she was so mad. Right. I mean, well, and I saw enough. in this exact post, I can't remember what they said, but something like, can't you just da 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 da? And her response was like, let me just have my feelings. And again, going back to the Cameron thing, Cameron could be the heated angel of last week. We could say Trinity is this week's heated angel. Yeah, I think that uh, Because she was like, just let me have my feelings. It's the same kind of thing. Is it overdramatic? Could it be too much? Sure. But also, like, who who cares? Give her, let her have her feelings. Right, exactly. I do hope, though, going forward to talk about next week, that she gets out of that. Because it feels like she's already just feeling, def like, a couple weeks in a row now, she's just feeling defeated. Right. And that's not going to be great, especially considering... She, someone's gonna have to go again. Absolutely, yeah. So. I mean, because we get, we, we're here, we're in the twist, the twist is right. happening. And so I'm expecting that next week, whoever won that lip sync will just walk through the door or something. You yeah, know what I'm absolutely, saying? So yeah. like, 
these girls need to be ready. They need to be ready. I agree. Let's get into the lip syncs and we start off yes. with Sabrina Cha Cha and Jiggly Caliente. First of all, Serena looked more stunning than she's oh ever, like her mug was beautiful. Yeah, she, she looked gorgeous and beautiful. That was a stunning little bodysuit she had on. It sure was. Yeah, everything about her hair was cute, of course. Yeah, yeah. adorable. She looked so good. She looked so good, but I mean, Jiggly Caliente slay. Oh it. yeah. Jiggly turned that lip sync out. We got a whole split from Jiggly. That was fun to see. And it's been so long since we've seen that. I know. But she just really embodied the song. Like she was living in that moment. And yeah. she clearly won that one. So it's great like for someone like Jiggly, who didn't get a moment to shine, mm -hmm. you know, in her like, couple yeah. little episodes, she got a real moment to shine here and she got to win another lip sync. Yeah, she sure did. She really turned it out. Moving on to the next one. This is when Silky comes in. Before we talk about the lip sync though, I would say that their trash talk between them was the best out of any oh, of them. Oh, it was so funny. Like, they were reading each other down. Because, of course, Silky read a lot of folks, but Jiggly can one-up at every point. Oh, yeah. Jiggly's just so smart and so quick. Like, that was always, like, her thing. She played the ditzy girl a lot, but mm -hmm. when it comes to, like, reading and, like, yeah. you know, she was always cute with that. And it was just so cute, too, that they both showed up in leopard print. Yeah. <laughs> I know. When they, when they both walked out in the same look, I'm like, what's this song going to be? Cheetah Girls? Right. <laughs> Jiggly did her best, but damn. Silky did another titty stunt, and this time with even more, and with she mixed a whole drink, made a she whole cocktail. Ice. She had ice. Bag of ice. That was hilarious. It was so good. I loved it. She just, she just, it was so fun. And that's a song that's perfect, ripe for like just being dumb and fun, and she killed it. Absolutely. She had the whole little instrumental break playing right. out. Right, make it a cocktail. So cute. Now, up next is a Silky versus Yara Sophia Ooh, once that again. Of Yara. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> she, it was great to see her back again, right. of course, because she's just wacky and hilarious. Mm -hmm. Silky really turned it out with the this time, like just dumping water on herself for absolutely no reason. And I don't have a, the picture here, but like once Silky took her coat off, that little French bot, that French bodysuit was fierce. It was the water stunt, even though it made no sense. Just once again, her timing and like. Yeah how she did it in the lip sync was just so funny it was so funny and uh during that moment we got this little uh that was scratching moment from yara which she's playing the guitar on her crotch uh huh uh, that lasted longer than just this moment though she did that for quite some <laughs> she time did that for a moment it's a very yara sophia choice and we got like a <laughs> silky split and then yara did one yeah. right after that oh that was fierce yeah that was fierce they both did the split yeah. absolutely but no it was a really entertaining lip sync it like was great. both the girls were funny. They both were unique and very themselves. And but I it was it. definitely Silky's lip sync. Yeah. Then Scarlet Envy comes out in a fierce cat suit. That oh. was a fierce look. And her mug, of course, looks stunning. But then Silky comes out in her mug. I, like that. That's my favorite Silky mug I've ever seen. Yeah. So Beautiful. soft, so gorgeous. Yeah, that doesn't look like Sharpie today. <laughs> right. That is just that's just a soft lady. Yes, absolutely. Oh, this was Cher's uh, song for a lonely, which was a uh -huh. great song to do. It's really good. Just, I think Scarlett did what she could, mm -hmm. but Silky turned it out, and then at the end brings out the uh, oh the little flag. Fan, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. That was so that was really like cool to see her do all of that. And it was really well done. It was. She did yeah. a good job. Yeah, Scarlett looked gorgeous. Um, I liked the little Cher mannerisms that she was doing. I was with the bodysuit feeling the share fantasy, but yeah, Silky once again yeah. turned it out. The gag of all gags. Yeah. Silky comes out first, which we were like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Supposed to reveal Akira, and Akira did, decided not to come. I know, that was shocking to me. Yeah, and I, I get why she didn't, but at the same time, it's like, well, why not? Like, kind of like with some of the other girls, like, why not? Give them one last show before you go. Yeah, absolutely. This is what we do. You lip sync. Right. You know, so but, it's just kind of strange. I mean, if she had, like, there's no way she would have gotten overshadowed by this fool. <laughs> this was yeah. so funny. I'm so glad that she was like, I would still love the opportunity to lip sync for you tonight. And Rue was like, right. well, okay. <laughs> well, I would have been like, why, if you knew she wasn't here, why'd you make me get right. up and drag? Get up in the split drag, too. Like, Right. She put a lot of effort in this she look. She sure did. You're I'm not going to let me pass up this song. It was so funny. Like, it was hilarious. You know, they always put the lip syncs up on YouTube and all of that, mm -hmm. but this was the first one they put up. One of the best moments of the entire night. Oh, it was yeah. just so fun. Ugh, everything that Silky did in this episode, I know we're not done yet, but yeah. like, I just, I love even just reliving this and looking at the photos. She was the episode. Oh. She sure was. Like, it was Silky's Drag Race that was, night. It was. Now, this was the tightest lip sync we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. This, oh, yeah. actually, just in general, this was the tightest lip sync, I think. It was amazing. Jan turned it out 
Silky turned it out. Uh -huh. Like the first half of the lip sync, Jan, I thought Jan was gonna beat her. Uh, I same. really did. Jan. But then the second half, Silky brought it up to 11. The guitar, like we saw it was there, but somehow it was still really funny. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that she broke it at the end was just hilarious. So funny. Oh, it was perfect. And like at that point, it's like, there's nothing that Jan could have done to like get the attention back on her because Silky is smashing this prop guitar on the stage. I mean, Jan did break the lights though. There I was, was gonna say, speaking of broken <laughs> things, Jan, when Jan slid, which it was really fierce too, mm -hmm. like she slid, knocked her wig off, and knocked the lights off. Yeah, she sure did. I mean, so there was a lot of a lot of destruction in this little, um, you know, rock and roll moment. I loved it. And I think Silky said she made this guitar out of cardboard and duct tape, oh. but she just made it in her hotel room. Wow, that looks great. So basically, like all the girls except for Eureka had about two days in their hotel room to learn the song. Oh. And so you know what song it's going to be. Silky was because I. This is the other thing too. Seen a lot, we've seen, we've heard about a lot of people online saying, well, Silky used all these props and da 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 da. If you know the song and you're allowed to have props, why wouldn't you make props? It's not like right. she got, like, it's not like they brought her props, like she made props or she had them with her. We've talked about this before too. In the real world, like people use props in numbers all the time. Oh yeah, so literally all the time. I don't know why it should be controversial. I'm sure the folks that are saying that don't actually do drag or don't go to drag <laughs> I shows. I was gonna say, don't even go to drag shows right. to see what's up. They just watch lip syncs on Drag Race and yeah. think that's all people do. Right, like, well, gal, you know, if you have time to prepare for a show, people do a whole production number. Like, right. Yeah. I mean, you could look at Sasha's rose petals as props. Like that's yeah. a prop, that's a gimmick, you know? Yeah, even just like a that's reveal. A yeah. Absolutely, like even a re uh, any of the reveals, like it's all a stunt, exactly. Right. So like, hey, all spare and love and drag. Exactly. But man, this was this was the tightest battle. It was. Absolutely. Yeah, at the end of this, I'm like, I don't know, it could go to either one, yeah. you know? I'm happy that Jan got a great redemption from, because, you know, Womanizer earlier in the season was a little bit rough oh, and yeah, yeah. folks weren't living for that. And so I'm happy that she got to get like a really, really fierce lip sync yeah, in before she left. Me too. This was the lip sync that Trinity was living for. Yes. I mean, they all were, of course. Raja threw her slider at the, sh at the TV. <laughs> These girls too made the episode more fun just by giving commentary throughout it. It was, yeah, it was really cute. Really it was cute Raja. to see them. Yeah, it was cute to see them have their little banter. Um, yeah. yeah, Raja was hilarious. Raja kind of like, yeah, Raja was able to have another great episode just with commentary throughout it. Honestly, yeah. But this, mo mo this moment right here was really, really funny for them. Like, the girls were so into it. It was good yeah. to just see them having a good time and, like, rooting for their sisters, right. you know? Because, like, the other girls were having fun throughout, but, like, it was great that, like, this one even got Trinity standing up. Like, yeah. Trinity couldn't even, like, pout anymore. She was like, I have to be in it, too. Now, moving on to Silky versus Pandora Box, and this was to Ariana Grande, yes. which Silky was dressed perfect for it, and Pandora Pandora looks stunning too. Pandora looked amazing. I love that Silky gave you the whole Ariana Grande. 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 Ooh, mm. fancy. The Upgraded. whole Ariana Grande fantasy in a sensible high Converse shoe. Uh, I, I forgot it, about though. that. Yeah. yeah. It was funny because when the, the curtain started rising, Rue even goes, oh, and a sensible sneaker. <laughs> But hey, it worked because they were like the knee-high sneakers. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cute. And she did a great job. She sure did. She, yeah. yeah, she did another like backbreaker moment where she, she threw did. a body. But again, like she didn't do that every lip sync. This was the first one she did it. Exactly. And she had her reveal. She took off like the top part or whatever. Oh, no, it was the skirt. Oh, it was the yeah, skirt. Yeah. That's right. She, yeah. yeah. And this was another good trash talk moment. Well, oh, Jan's trash talk moment. <laughs> Jan, Jan, you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> That was just so, like, I was like, bloop, okay. Pandora was like, sorry, Silky, but I'm gonna have to send you home. And she's like, that's what the last six girls said. Yes. And then the last one. Whew. Man, yes. this was crazy. It was. Now, for me, it seemed like all the other lip syncs, the props and the, the looks and all of that really worked with what Silky did you know, for the song. She first walked out in the trash bag. I was like, whoa, this is definitely a Missy Elliott song. Cause she's got, she got every other look it matched with the song perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Silky's props got her a little, little tangled up in this one. Yeah, that was unfortunate. And I, I know they were both doing song or both doing like the story, like inspired by their moms, respectively. Yeah, which was also really cute. It was really, really cute. I think like Silky's was such a story though that I feel like you kind of needed to like know her mom to understand what was happening. The weight loss thing. The yeah. weight loss thing and all of that. But Eureka's was like really Eureka was just in, clear. embodying the emotions of losing her mom. And Absolutely. it was, even before we knew that, it still was like, oh my God, Eureka's killing this. You know, sometimes like Eureka will struggle with like showing emotion on the face while she's lip syncing. Mm -hmm. uh, th this was 
I mean, this is her best lip sync ever. Oh, absolutely. Eureka she was amazing. Slayed it. Yeah. I mean, it gave me chills towards the end when she was like on the like face just on the ground. Like you could feel it. You yeah. could really feel it. Yeah. And what was funny is during our live reaction, Emma was like, what? It looks like she has a life alert around her neck. And I was just like, oh, I don't, I doubt that's what it is. And then when she said it, like, wow, that's yeah, really what it was. That really is what it is. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she, even, even her high kick, like, look at that high kick that she did. It yeah. was harder and more emotional. We see the double high kick with Eureka a lot, mm -hmm. but that didn't feel like that. You know it, what I'm saying? Like, right. the passion was there. Yeah. She really did it. She did everything correct in the slip sync. And it's hard because after seeing Silky win so many, because we don't know the yeah, results of this we, yet. Yeah, we don't. But before the lip sync happened, I was like, well, it's gotta be Silky, because like at this point, why wouldn't it be? Yeah. It would almost seem like a cheat, cheating her if she doesn't make it at this point. I know. But my God, like after watching the lip sync, you're like, how could you, like Eureka has yeah, to win. it has to be Eureka. So what I'm hoping is that it's a double save and they Ooh, both get to come back. I mean, that would be amazing. I mean, Silky has more than earned it in my opinion. That's, a, that's what I'm saying, like Eureka for winning this lip sync, but then Silky for the work she just, the body of work she just put in. Absolutely. We don't know what all-star rules are, but you know, they keep getting brought up a lot. I'm assuming- They're always evolving. <laughs> right. I'm assuming it's that there would be one winner, right? right? And so with uh, it being one winner, I've just focused on this lip sync, I'd give it to Eureka. I know. She, I mean, she won the lip sync. She did. She won the lip sync. Um, Silky, you know, I don't know. I feel but like it sucks they because should be giving every... her money. They should exactly. have been giving her an extra little award or a little gift certificate to somewhere. Yeah. Something. Because, like, how can you not, you know, yeah. move Silky forward after everything that she just did? But, I mean, but Eureka. But you can't not move Eureka forward yeah. after what she just did here, too. Exactly. Yeah. I hope so. they both get to come back. I hope so, too. That'll really piss the girls off. Oh. Because oh, that then would mean, like, that... then we got a couple more episodes yeah. left to go. Now let's move on to Drag Race Holland. Now, this week was Snatch Game. And and, you know, <laughs> I really felt like Kata Minaj deserved the win. I was surprised Vivaldi won. Mm -hmm. um, because what's funny is Nikki was like one of the few characters we knew. because She was on season one, of course, of Holland. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get the, like, uh, of course, we obviously don't know that much about Nikki based on her time there. But clearly she's very wealthy and talks about it. Which, yeah, I, I didn't see. But, I mean, we only know her from one yeah context i feel like they want to avoid another domination like yeah, last year with like, envy yeah because keta already has two wins out of three episodes that's pretty damn fierce it is she could be another person that just dominates the whole damn yeah thing. i mean she's obviously the front runner so far absolutely <laughs> like without a doubt yeah even though the snatch game was just okay the runway was incredible the runway was amazing and up first is ivy elise now she did the um, sea monster yeah. with the black dress over it yeah the actual sea monster thing was stunning. Right, yeah, the the prosthetics and everything underneath the black dress looked fierce. Um, I was really surprised actually with just like how good that all came yeah. together. The black dress, you know, it was simple, um, but at the time, and they even said this on the runway, she was first out and I was like, oh, okay, no, this is amazing. Like, right, right, she was the first one, yeah. Yeah, so like at the time I'm like, okay, no, this works. But then for me, it was like as other people started coming out, I was exactly. like, oh. The well. black dress was either unnecessary completely mm -hmm. or, uh, yeah, it should have been a different Just type of dress. way too simple, yeah. right. Uh, but overall, I'd still give it a mangle yes. Oh yeah, mangle yes, yeah. Then moving on to Keta Minaj. Mm. So she said it was a creature that made its own fur into a dress. Stunning. Absolute mangle yes. Uh, Absolutely slayed it. And Incredible. How, right. And how she sold it on the runway, like starting out on the floor. Like on the ground. And just, oh, oh. she looks spooky and scary and I loved it. She's like the one to beat in every way right now, honestly. Yeah, yeah she's been turning out. Our eliminated queen, Love Mississi, doing the female gremlin. Uh, I loved this God, look too. God, though, this look was everything. They were coming down on her for the... Not being able to like move her face. But I mean, I don't know. I didn't care. Yeah, it's like not. It's not like she was doing an acting challenge in it. <laughs> yeah, she can't show a range of emotions, but it was just so perfect. It was so well done. Oh my god! Right, like if the Gremlins ever goes on Broadway, like that's. I hope the makeup's that good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Up next is My Little Pooty. They didn't like this one, but yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was really pretty. When she did the little reveal and the fringe on it was gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I liked the little spider queen fantasy or whatever was going on. Right. Like it wasn't as elaborate or detailed as some of the other ones, but I thought it was still impeccable, impeccably done. <laughs> and it's definitely a mingle yes for me. Yeah, it's a mingle yes for me too. And if there was going to be a double win, I thought she would have been the other one to win. Yeah, because she did the lady with the Botox and the fillers and the, the pigeons. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't understand any of it, but I thought it was funny. I thought yeah. it was cute. I thought it was very well done. Yeah, the pigeon stuff was really funny. Well, up next is uh, Tabitha, and she's slight snatch game, but um, her look was... They were so mad about her neck that they put her in the bottom three. Yeah, they were. And I mean, I kind of get it. I do. I do too. Yeah. It's like it's a, another week where I feel like they keep asking her to pay attention to the details. Mm -hmm. They're trying to drill that into her. Like, if you don't start paying attention to these details, you could be out, gal. Honestly. And it is a little surprising, too. I mean, she's a very seasoned queen. She's competed in a lot of pageants. So it's like, girl, you couldn't have right. thrown on a turtleneck or something to wear under there. Clearly, someone spent that time and effort to make that look. <laughs> And then you just chose to just leave your neck bare. Mm. And also just as a whole, it was, especially as it was walking the runaway, it was actually hard to see. It was. And it just, the, there wasn't a clear face on it to me. I know, I think like, so I think she just put black makeup or whatever um, and just blended the whole face into the mask. Yeah. But I feel like she could have done something maybe cool with the eyes or something to make it pop a little bit more in general. Absolutely. Yeah, it was like she spent a lot of money on a expensive costume, but then didn't know how to wear it. Put any of the effort yeah, in. Yeah, it was very that for me. I'm gonna give it a mango mask. I'm gonna mess it as well. What a weird week for her to shave her eyebrows off. This look, <laughs> clearly, she, her eyebrows were covered. And then Snatch Game, she had uh, like a heavy bang on. Up next is the Countess. This look was Oof. insane. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Like, wow. blew my mind. I, it was just honestly one of the best things I think I've ever seen. Yeah. It's, incredible. It's, I, it's, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> the makeup was incredible. The look was incredible. And again, talk about details. Painting her skin green yeah. and all of that. And like, the choices were just brilliant. So smart. Exactly. Like, honestly, that look, it was literally untouchable. Like, yeah. I, Speaking of that, up next is Vanessa, and this Ooh. this mama can sell it on the runway. Oh. Queen of selling it on the runway. Absolutely. She sold the whole story. American Horror Story already about the rights of the character. It was fierce. It was everything. It was so good. Total yeah. mental, yes. Absolutely. I feel like she's somebody who, even if she does have a little bit of a weaker week in terms of the look, because of her presentation, it's always going to be incredible. Oh, yeah. And I mean, they straight up told these, some of these girls, your look saved you from the bottom. Right. And I mean, she fell into that category because just that look on the runway was just, it was mind-blowing. Up next is Vivaldi. Yes. This look was great, too. Really loved it. It was more, like, nondescript. I wasn't really... Like, more alien. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what the, like, if there was a story or something behind it. But yeah, it was still beautifully executed. Mm -hmm. And I liked... The the little bubble boobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those were really cute. Yeah. Now we have to pick our favorite and least favorite looks of the week. So Scarlett, what is your favorite look of the week? My favorite look of the week is The Countess. This is so hard, but I'm gonna have to agree. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just pure art. Yeah. It was like less on the monster side compared to some of the other ones, but it was just so beautiful. How could you be mad at oh, it? Oh yeah, gorgeous. And then I think we'll probably agree that our least favorite's the only one we gave a total mess to, yeah. which was... Tabitha. Tabitha, once again. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been great if she would have followed through with the details. Uh, it was just such a beautiful costume, and I feel yeah. like in the hands of somebody that did more with just everything else underneath, it yeah. would have been incredible. Now, before we go, we do have a package to open up. Let's get yeah. that, Scarlet. I believe it's called Antia Co Cosmetics. Ooh. So we're yeah. going to open that up here. See, folks know me. Ooh. Got me a couple of reds in there. Yes. Some oh my God. good reds. And those are, I mean, you're not going to lose that, that is girl. Re I really want to try that one. That's yeah, a bright. It's like an orange. Yeah, it's red. almost orange. Yeah. Oh my God. This gorgeous. is more of a deeper red. Oh, this says scarlet cyanide. What? Does that one say Miramangle? It does. Oh. Ah. Oh my God. We oh have our own God. custom lipsticks. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Create your own beauty. All right. I love Thank that. You. Girl, we have our own lipstick now. <laughs> I love this it. has my name on it. This is this Blue. lipstick is called Mirror Mangle. Mm -hmm. How hey. fierce! That's incredible. Love it. I love that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna head on out of here, and we are so glad you got to see.